Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Red Men TV and your latest episode of Liverpool Lone Watch. My name is Dan Club. I'm delighted to be joined once again by Charlie Keegan from Central Wigan for this one. Charlie, how are you, mate? You good? Yeah, I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, I'm all good, thanks, mate. I'm all good. Um, busy weekends behind me now, Monday morning, ready to go again. So let's do this. Um, we're here to speak about two lads who are on loan at Wigan uh, from Liverpool, of course. Um, one of whom will start off with Calvin Ramsey, if that's OK, because a lot was sort of expected, made of, and I guess hoped for when Calvin Ramsey signed for Liverpool. Obviously, he came down from Aberdeen, very highly regarded, and taken the Scottish Premiership by storm a little bit as a teenager, Played for Liverpool in the early days, injury problems became a thing. He's had a couple of disappointing loan spells away now as well. Obviously, he signed for Wigan in the summer. And I mean, it was almost straight away, wasn't it, in the summer as well? It was like way, way back now. A lot of Liverpool fans look at that, okay, okay, he needs to go away, play football, reignite his career. Hopefully, he can do that. However, five League One appearances so far, Charlie, one start, and that was in the EFL Cup as well. He's yet to complete 90 minutes. Why so little football, really? He had a bit of a knock and a, a bit of a muscle injury. And I think that's kind of been a an issue that he's been dealing with at a few loan clubs he's been at, maybe also at Liverpool as well. His minutes really over the last few years are very, very low. And so his full match fitness just isn't really there. But when he has played, I remember his first sort of appearance for Wigan, he came off the bench and he was just desperate to just get involved and take shots and... I think he was trying to overexert himself to really make a statement because Luke Chambers has been. And I think Maloney's really having to be like, okay, you're going to feature, you're going to play. Let's just take our time so you're not overexerting yourself. But yeah, he's, um, I think one of one league appearance, uh, one league start, sorry, and one uh, EFL trophy start as well. So yeah, he's, um, he's hopefully starting to build up that fitness. Yeah, I feel the match fitness might be the crux of the issue, to be honest with you. But it's interesting. I managed to go and watch Wigan against Chorley in the preseason. Um, and he played, I feel like he played all of it. I might have left like 10 minutes before the end, but I'm pretty sure he played close to 90 minutes in that. So I went away thinking, well, he's got decent match fitness clearly under his belt for Sean Maloney to be giving him those sort of minutes. Obviously, you know, the standard was a little bit lower, but then the pitch kind of weighed it out a little bit as well. So I thought, OK, this was on the eve of the season start. And I thought, OK, I expect him to be playing a lot and it hasn't really materialised. So I was just interested as to why. Um, I wanted to ask you as well about the formation. Now, this will lend itself to a conversation we have in a few minutes about Luke Chambers. But... It was wing backs last year. It was kind of three centre halves and then wing backs bombing on. Has that stayed the same? We're in a basic four two three one, but the full backs now are well, Luke Chambers usually will go and become a bit of a false winger. So he's just trying to bomb down that side. But also the they're used to tucking in as well. And so one of our um the two in the midfield will go forward. Matt Smith is the the playmaker really. He'll just sit in front of the two centre backs. And then sometimes you get the full backs will go alongside him. So you go into like a two, three, four, one, essentially, just to try and keep that pressure on. So Maloney really wants the full backs to become midfielders, if you like, as well. Mm -hmm. He wants to really get them involved in the build-up play and then have our centre backs as the last line. If everything goes wrong, they've got us, but we want to try and build up with the full backs as well. Okay, just and I guess, you know, on Ramsey then, that feels like it suits him because a lot of what sort of caught the eye at Liverpool was those attacking numbers, the goals and assists and going into midfield feels like something he'll be comfortable with doing because he's a very technically gifted footballer. He was doing a little bit of that in that Chorley game that mentioned a lot of the, the build-up play and what was happening in the opponent's half was going through Calvin. So I don't think there's any issues there in terms of the style, is there? No, nothing really. I think the, the only problem, and it's a bit of a Liverpool link as well, is James Carragher is starting at right back and he's been excellent. And so Calvin Ramsey is having to compete with James Carragher. So you've got, uh, th well, three essentially Liverpool uh, connections in that team. So, But James Carragher as well, just a little off topic. What a player. Excellent. He's been at left back, right back, centre back, shoots like his dad. So it skies over and goes into Rose Ed. But what a player he is. I'll clip that up so Jamie can see it for you if you want. Um, no, but you want, like, and I've, obviously I keep an eye on all of these people, including including uh, Carragher, because it's interesting how, someone's turned the light on, um, it's interesting how I've, I've come into the side because he's been on a couple of low moves as well. I think he had a couple of injury problems down the years too as well, but he's come into the side and Wigan seemingly have shored up at the back as well on the back of it. I've seen Carragher himself has been sort of sharing the, the posts around how many clean sheets you've had on the spin and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, clearly, you know, making his mark, which is kind of having a negative impact on the maybe the amount of minutes that Calvin Ramsey can get. But 
Just a summary then on Calvin, what you have seen of him in those cameos, those 30 minutes here and there, he has impressed in that time. And, you know, as the season goes on, what happens next? Do you think there's a chance for him to get in the side and stay in the side? I think there is, yeah. Um, we've got, I mean, League One is a heavily congested uh, fixture list anyway, especially if we do want to try and go further in the EFL trophy, which is, it's a trophy that, you know, with the under-21 Premier League teams is a little bit controversial, but it's one that we can go to Wembley and we can win that. So I want to go all the way because it's a trophy at the end of the day. And so with that, we're going to have to rely on the squad a lot more. Maloney's said that. So that's when like your Calvin Ramsey is going to get more minutes. James Carragher can't play every single game. Luke Chambers can't play every single game. You know, the, the very good fitness levels, but we've got to think about the whole season. So Ramsey will get more of a chance when he's been on the ball. He's been very good. Uh, with I think we're seven clean sheets in a row at the moment, and it's not really minded who we're playing in that back line. We can put Ramsey in; it's just as good as Carragher and shores up our defence just as well. So there's a lot of potential there. It's just getting that minutes because I think there's only 140 minutes he's played in League One this season. So it's just building that up now. So hopefully by Christmas he's, he's at those levels. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because again, sort of come back around to my sort of overriding starting point on him. He arrived at Liverpool. I think Liverpool paid nine or ten million quid for him. Like real, real excitement, real buzz about what he was capable of. And again, through a combination of injuries and disappointing loan spells, it hasn't really come to fruition yet. So I think we all want and hope he can reignite his own career, whether it be at Liverpool in the future, whether it just be be a coming a footballer again who plays week in, week out because he hasn't been that for a couple of years now. So, yeah, hopefully the opportunities come around because, again, he's clearly a very good player who should, at League One level, with all due respect to everybody, be making a real mark. Um, yeah. Luke Chambers, speaking of making a mark, um, we spoke about <laughs> Luke Chambers last year and the sort of the... The conversations were very, very positive around what he was able to achieve on loan down there. And that continues to be the case. A year younger than Calvin Ramsey, actually, only a 20-year-old um, back again. When I want to take you back to when it was confirmed that he will be coming back to Wigan. Was there an initial excitement and sort of a, a comfortableness because you've seen him and you know he's capable? Yeah, I think that brought the excitement, though, because we knew what he'd done. We knew how good he was last year. And honestly, when he when we parted ways at the end of last year, I thought, I'm going to watch this guy in the championship next year because there's no way he's going to come back down to League One. And when it kind of got announced or rumoured originally, it was rumoured for quite a few weeks before it got announced that he would be coming back. I thought, surely not. Surely he's going up to the championship. I don't know who he would play for. Maybe, you know, a top end, top sixer, like a Leeds or a Sunderland or just somebody there. That's what I'd set my mind on because that was his talent. But yeah, to have him back, he's, you just know what you're getting. He's so consistent. He's... Probably one of the left back, best left backs in the division. I'd probably put him up there with um, Birmingham's Alan Cochran, just how good he is. And obviously the, they've spent a lot of money on their squad. We're relying on loans. So to be able to put ourselves in that bracket, I think is is excellent. But yeah, what a player he is.